Hi there, my name is uh, David Kennedy. I'm the CEO of Trusted Tech and CTO over at Binary Defense. I've uh, been in the security industry for over 20 years. I uh, started my career off working for the military intelligence side of the house doing cyber warfare. Um, author of a number of open source exploitation frameworks, uh, the Social Engineer Toolkit, Magic Unicorn, the Pen Testers Framework. You know, the most important skill that I think is, is most necessary in cyber today is, is really understanding you know, how attackers are going after organizations and ultimately how we can, you know, build defenses against them. Ultimately, you know, understanding the offense allows you to build a good defense. So understanding what, you know, adversaries are doing, what their tactics, techniques and procedures are, um, how they're operating, the types of groups that there are out there um, really helps you understand, you know, where this industry is moving towards. And our industry is very reactive in nature because we're always trying to combat attackers. So how do we build good solid strategies against these attackers and build a good defense. And that comes through understanding what's happening out there in the trends and, and trying to protect organizations against various threats that continue to emerge. You know, social engineering attacks can range in sophistication. Uh, probably one of the most advanced social engineering attacks that, that I've ever seen actually came from a nation state where um, they were specifically targeting a law firm and uh, were going after them because there was they were doing business and, and work with inside of China. and. Uh, in this specific case, they targeted one individual within the organization uh, using a zero day, um, which is a undiscovered vulnerability that hasn't been identified before and uh, had gotten access to this one individual. And from there, you know, spread across the entire network. And it was all through, you know, coming through their social media presence, understanding who they are as an individual, their position and title within the organization. They literally crafted a very specific attack directly off of this individual to target them for specific objectives. And uh, it was probably one of the most advanced attacks I'd seen, the command and control they were using or how they established their outbound connections were all custom and designed to evade security systems. It was uh, one of the most tailored attacks that we'd ever seen towards an organization before at the time. And uh, it just goes to show you with enough time and research, you know, especially from a unlimited capabilities perspective, how big the actual threat is out there, uh, especially if you're you know, caught into specific nation state type of criteria. Data breaches in general can be catastrophic for organizations in many ways, reputational, monu uh, monetary, could also be you know, impactful to employees and confidential information and intellectual property. And I think one of the, the biggest challenges that we see from a data breach perspective is especially, you know, um, you know, across the globe is our ability to create intellectual property and our companies that make us unique in ourselves. So, you know, research and development, those types of things is what I would consider most sensitive um, in data breach type categorizations. And so when we see data breaches where they're targeting research and development, companies' intellectual property, source code, um, those types of things. Those are probably some of the biggest impactful ones. You know, obviously supply chain comes to mind as well. You know, can you impact one to many during a data breach? So, you know, instead of just hitting, you know, the initial company itself, you know, can you hit thousands or tens of thousands of customers? You know, those are all alarming trends that we're seeing, you know, as of today. So I would say intellectual property theft as well as supply chain attacks are gonna be some of the biggest consequences that you see from a data breach. And then you know, how do you go back and retroactively think or see what they actually had access to? It just takes a lot of time and effort, uh, especially as attackers have entrenched themselves for such a long period of time in an environment. Um, those are some of the major consequences that we see from, from data breaches and then the loss of intellectual property theft.